Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Adelsa Abassade, for those of you who don't know me, and I'm a grade 9 student at Upper Canada College. Thanks for watching my past videos. Um, I'll Thank you for commenting on it, liking it. Um, I'll make sure I'll try to get to the comments, try to answer any questions you have. Now, today's topic is going to be on a new topic I've been searching into, and it's called IoT, or the Internet of Things. And basically what IoT is, it's just the concept of connecting a certain device to the internet or just Wi-Fi in general and connecting it to a bunch of other devices. And what this does is create a giant network of collected de connected devices that collect and share data with each other. And basically how they share data with each other is through a process called M2M or machine to machine interface. And what happens in M2M is that a certain device will um, send data over something called a gateway or something that takes and receives takes, receives, and gives back data to other devices. That's why, pretty much why it's called Gateway. And then it sends it to other connected devices. That way those devices can get data from other devices. And basically um, what that does is it allows for a whole new exploration of topics. It allows you to be able to get data from your coffee machine, from your temperature sensor, from your vacuum maybe. And it allows you to be able to control those things without having to be there or specifically control it. And it allows for more freedom to be able to do things. So if you're still not getting how it generally works, um, one example that I like to use is my example of two people or two devices and a mailman or cloud. And basically what happens in that example is that there's two friends or two smart devices. And one of those friends needs help with something. And he asks his very smart friend or the other device for help. And basically, he sends that um, quest, request for help, or in this case, request for data, to his other friend. And let's pretend that we're not in the 2018. Let's pretend that we're, far, we're much uh, farther back in history. And he has to send his request for help via mail. And let, he sends that mail to the post office. And the path, to get, the path to get there is basically the gateway. And the instructions to get there is, are the API, is the API, or Application Programming Interface. Now, finally, um, device number one, or the person number one, gets to the post office, or cloud. And basically what cloud does is that it uses the internet to send and receive data using um, one network or one Wi-Fi network and sends it to other Wi-Fi networks. Finally, after a long drive through the gateway or the road, device one reaches the post office or cloud. And basically, the post office knows everyone who goes there through their ID, or in this case, the device ID. And finally, friend one is able to send his request for help or request for data to the other device. And now, the request for data is sent to device two via the gateway. Um, and basically, the request for data or request for help reaches friend two. Now friend two has that request for data, and he's going to give data back to friend one via all the steps that I've just said. And finally, friend one gets his request for help and request for data. That's basically what I use um, as a general explanation for how IoT works. That's literally it. Um, IoT for me is just huge because you can use it for so many different things. And it's not just useful, it has real... Now, IoT is not just a type of technology that's still in the making. It's been going on since 1992, when the general term IoT, or Internet of Things, or connecting devices to the Internet, grew. And basically, um, it started out with an ample $1 million, which is actually quite a lot for that time. Right now, in 20, by the end of 2017, IoT was at $29.2 billion in network. And it's projected in 2020 to grow to $50.1 billion. Isn't that insane? Now, some devices involved in IoT include the Amazon Alexa, Amazon Echo, or Google Home and Google Mini. And basically, these serve as the, as the platforms that connect to other smart devices, or those devices that I said go through M2M, or machine-to-machine -machine interface. Some devices that actually, some smart devices that actually go through that um, include I guess, Smart Lock, there's the Nest Thermostat, there's also the Neato BotVac, which is a vacuum that goes through your house and knows where it cleans, 
and divides your house basically up into quadrants so you can tell it where to clean and it remembers when it's clean you can schedule when it cleans the nest thermostat is basically a temperature sensor um, but connected to IOT so you can control it outside of your house the August smart lock is basically what it says it's just a lock for your home except you can control it whenever you're in or out of the house well, that's it for today um, today's a short video thanks so much for watching make sure you subscribe and see you next time